The intestine is a very large organ. It is populated by bacteria. So many bacteria that there's about 100,000 times more cells within the GI than there are in the rest of the body. This community of bacteria, called now the microbiota, is considered a virtual organ. This organ communicates with the body, with the immune system and the nervous system. The upper part, the smaller intestine, is colonized mostly by bacteria that like oxygen but don't need oxygen, like the lactobacilli. The lactobacilli are within this fast-moving environment. The lower part, the large intestine, has no oxygen. So it's colonized by bacteria such as the bifidobacteria. And the amount of bacteria in there is about 10 times, if not 100 times more than you have within the smaller intestine. And when this population of friendly bacteria is attacked, that it be by lifestyle, diet, alcohol, food additives, or even antibiotics, this population of friendly bacteria, the bifidobacteria, is reduced and replaced by unfriendly bacteria, such as Clostridia. And when this happens, it's the open door for chronic disease, anywhere from IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, to IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, to polyps and cancer. When this change of flora, called dysbiosis, happens, then it's the open door for the chronic disease. So anything you can do to improve the amount of bifidobacteria within the large intestine is good steps to prevent these chronic disease from happening. So taking a, a probiotic that contains bifidobacteria is your best bet to prevent the decline of the friendly bacteria.